All right, welcome back to Bayou Time News. Joining me now is Captain Brennan Mathern from the Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Department. Captain, good to see you. How are you today, sir? Hey, Martin, I'm doing well. Good to see you too. Good. I want to talk about a couple of things because I know we have a short time limit, but five teens, and this is becoming more and more in all areas, any place you live, five teens charged in vehicle burglaries in Thibodeau. Let's start with that. That's got to be quite alarming to you all, too. Yeah, and, and like you said, Martin, this is becoming more and more popular that this type of crime, not just vehicle burglaries in general, but a string of burglaries in a single area. In this particular instance, the victims were in Abbey Heights and an Abbey subdivision up in Thibodeau. And ultimately, you know, the, the, we arrested uh, and charged uh, five teens between the ages of 15 and 17 that we found to be involved in these vehicle burglaries. And this is sort of what we've been seeing, right? Not just one person, but either two or more people involved, and it's all in one section. And, you know, just to kind of reiterate some of the things that we've talked about before, we've, we've encouraged people to lock their doors every night, make sure your cars are locked, and this is why. For the most part, these individuals are not breaking into vehicles. That's something you see in other places. Typically, vehicle burglaries in Lafouche Parish are the burglaries that happen when cars are left unlocked. Uh, thieves are looking for easy targets, and if they find a locked door, they move on to the next one. In this particular case in Thibodeau, uh, a, lot of, a lot of individual uh, items were stolen, including firearms. Uh, we're happy to say that all of those items, uh, especially the firearms, but, but most of the items involved uh, have been returned to the owners, and we have located all of the firearms that were reported stolen. We even found a, a firearm that had been reported stolen out of Homa, uh, that was found uh, with one of the teenagers. So ultimately, great job by our detectives to uh, quickly solve these crimes that had took place on January 16th. Yeah, and I tell you, it just it seems they're becoming more and more brazen and to just walk in a subdivision and not really care about getting caught just shows you how brazen they get. Let's switch gears if we can because uh, we have a picture we're going to bring up, but your detectives are... Uh, seeking to identify an armed robbery suspect. Is that still the case, or have y'all found him yet, or are you still looking for him? Yeah, we're still searching for this individual, and uh, I'm glad we get a chance to highlight this, Martin. You know, I often tell people that one of the benefits to living in Lafouche Parish is that you're unlikely to be a victim of random acts of violence. Uh, it's, do it's rare, but it do does happen, and unfortunately it happened in this case. Thankfully, no one was injured in this armed robbery, but the man you see uh, here on the screen is the, the person we're looking for in this armed robbery. Uh, he drove up to the Wagapack, which is located at the corner of the West Thibodeau Bypass Road and St. Mary Street, uh, just north of uh, the city of Thibodeau. Uh, went into the store, uh, held a gun up to the clerk, uh, stole cash, and left. It is believed that he was possibly traveling on bicycle at this point in the investigation that's what detectives believe they are searching for we otherwise do not have any other uh, suspect vehicle to to talk about uh, we do believe that he was traveling by bicycle but that part remains under investigation uh, anyone who has any information on that crime or anyone who can identify uh, the man you see on your screen we would love to know about it you can submit a tip an, a tip anonymously through Crime Stoppers by your region by calling 1-800-743-7433 on the website at crimestoppersbr.org are my personal favorite and the easiest way is on the Bayou Tips mobile app. Uh, that is our newest app that's available in the app store. Just search for Bayou Tips and download that and it will take you right to Crime Stoppers. The, uh, the P3 Tips app, if, you're, if you've been using that, that is still effective and it still works. It all goes to the same place. Uh, but just to make it easier for our users here in the Lafouche and Terrebonne area, we have our own app now through Crime Stoppers by your region. So we encourage you to download it and use that app to send in information. We have a couple of minutes left. If I could bring the picture back up, uh, Captain Mathern, uh, it, it looks to me like the subject has some white, either sheetrock or paint or concrete. So obviously maybe he's a laborer so that is, is that sort of what y'all picked up from this picture 
Well, we don't want to divulge any information on investigators, but obviously anytime investigators are looking at a, a subject, they're going to take all of that into account. You can also see that it looks like he's wearing some sort of mask. Now, that could just be an average face mask that, that we've all been wearing, but to your point, it could have been involved in construction. Uh, it's hard to tell from these angles, but the, the gloves, the boots, uh, and the coveralls that he's wearing, uh, as well as the cap, all of that is taken into consideration uh, whenever we're trying to uh, identify an individual like this. Uh, we're also looking for anything that might have been left at the scene or, or any uh, footprints, anything that could help us uh, lead us to the identity of this individual. And look, we appreciate you, you coming on. You've always been so transparent and uh, you and the sheriff always coming on. But once again, you come on to ask the public for help. And this is a prime example how they could help you all out. And if anybody knows this individual, just to give you a call again. And uh, certainly it helps to keep the public involved. Absolutely. And the misconception is that uh, our detectives can solve every crime without any eyewitnesses or any help from the public, and that's not the case. We have some of the best detectives in the country, uh, but the fact is that they need to put a puzzle together, and they need all the pieces, not just evidence or anything they find. They need eyewitness testimony, and hopefully uh, they need uh, testimony or information from people outside that are not involved but that have information that may help solve the crime. All right, there you have it, Captain Brennan Mathern from the Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Department. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you, sir. And we're right around the break. We'll have more Bayou time uh, right here. Once again, try to help them out. If you know that man, give him a call. You'll be doing the public some good. We'll be right back.